Hello and welcome to The View from Feliban. I'm talking to uh, Thomas Krieger, who is the Regional Head for Latin America at Commerce Bank. Thomas, great to uh, catch up with you. Um, you, you focus uh, on uh, trade finance. Uh, there's, right. There have been uh, a bunch of challenges around <coughs> this product, not least the economic situation of Latin America and regulation. So does trade finance continue to be profitable? It certainly is profitable for us, and, uh, but you correctly mentioned that we are facing several challenges. Uh, we have seen uh, many economies or several economies uh, going down in the economic cycle and um, therefore we don't have large volume currently in Latin America that we are financing. Uh, the most important market certainly is Brazil that is coming out of the longest recession they ever had and the strongest recession they ever had. So the demand is still rather low, which is depressing profitability because there's a high liquidity internationally still being offered to Latin American markets as, as globally also. So um, it's difficult, it's a difficult environment, but we are profitable because on the other hand we are trying to compensate and we are investing, for example, as Commerce Bank in digitalization. So we are facing the challenges by trying to adjust by cost cutting. We have a program of digitalization in the bank running for the next three years, four years, so investing every year 700 million dollar, uh, yeah. euros in globally. digitalization globally. Yeah. <clears throat> and this will help us to face the challenges also in international trade finance. And this is changing also the way that uh, trade finance looks as a product. So how will trade finance look like in the future? Well, that's, if we were really to know, that would be wonderful, but uh, nobody really knows. Because how do you picture it? We, we face, as I said, said before, we face the challenge of digitalization. Um, we have the so-called fintechs that might come up with solutions that we don't know today, but they might be there tomorrow. Mm. <clears throat> so uh, we are, for example, uh, investing in uh, bank payment obligation, where today we are one of the leaders offering this service to our customers. Um, which is not a substitute for the letter of credit, but it's an add-on for uh, open account export financing <coughs> to offer more security to the exporters again, but mm -hmm. on a lower cost yeah. than the traditional letter of credit. We don't know whether this technology or this uh, solution will end up a couple of years down the road in the block blockchain technology. So this might be an option. We are following this closely. We offer the service and we further develop the service. And uh, so we're trying to be ahead of the curve, but nobody knows really. So we're facing these challenges like many other banks, international banks do. One of the other challenges is regulation that we face, which has increased during the last years tremendously the cost globally, not only to Commerce Bank. Um, so we have also invested in beefing up our, our internal uh, procedures, uh, compliance procedures. Uh, today we don't talk about customer due diligence, but we talk about enhanced due diligence and this is the new industry standard and of course we are following the standard and we do see um, very important improvements also in several countries talking about Latin America for example if you look at Panama and Colombia they will soon publish uh, new reports from the Financial Action Task Force that will show important improvements and that will help to uh, bring down our costs because we can um, having done the enhanced due diligence on, on the countries and on the banks, uh, we can feel safe and sure to work and continue to work in trade finance and international payment business with these countries and the banks. And this comes true for the region. What about <coughs> sustainability and green finance? Something else that keeps on being mentioned by lenders and by trade financiers as well. Trade finance and sustainability are two things that come together. Uh, we are trying to work and develop principles together with the International Chamber of Commerce on sustainable trade, sustainable trade finance. And Commerce Bank uh, is always trying to improve its stake in sustainable finance, generally speaking. So we love to work together with the Inter-American Development Bank within their Beyond Banking program. The AB loan structures, this is something that we really prefer to do um, next to just doing working capital financing, which is not trade finance, but that we do consider as add-on to the trade finance business in our relationship with the Latin American banking system. And uh, we will continue to focus on sustainable trade, on sustainable financing in this direction, working together with uh, the Inter-American Development Bank, with IFC, we will try to involve 
uh, KfW, the German Development Bank, who is already financing a lot of sustainability pro projects in Latin America, and we would like to combine forces and um, capabilities together with them also. So it's something that we are certainly looking at, trying to assume corporate responsibility and responsibility towards all our stakeholders. Very well. Thomas, we come to the end of a very long and busy day. We, we can hear people in the background uh, enjoying the evenings and we should uh, probably go enjoy them as well. Tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy too.